Hey, it's Grimax. Sipping on honey like it's Arizona. I'm with sick bitches, I feel like they're cold. Welcome to Culture Interviews. I'm 19. I'm from Long Island, born and raised here. I started making music four years ago, May of 2018. I came up with my name because my last name is Grimaldi, so Grim. And then the OX, Maddox was coming up at the time. I was like, I think that's cool. I don't want to do Lil or Young or something cliche like that. So I was like, Ox, that's it. <laughs> Now it's definitely more competitive right off the bat. Um, I feel like there are many different subgenres of rap, underground rap specifically. Um, back in the day, it, it felt much more ignorant, I want to say, the style of rap with the little pumps and the smoke perps. I feel like now it's just gotten a lot more technical and a lot more, it's just more competitive. So, you know, you, you see more of these subgroups popping out and people like Yeet who you've never heard anything like that before just like erupting. My dream collaboration is 100% Uzi, Lil Uzi Vert. Um, that was the person who inspired me to start. Uh, I love Uzi. Yeah, that would be amazing. My first chain, I think I'd have to get an OX. I'd have OX. to get an OX, 100%. I, a funny thing about that, I made a chain in chemistry class, like in a, an experiment that said OX and it was like iced out low key. So I was like, all right, I gotta make this into a real chain someday. The realest line that I ever spit was in this song I made called Scab. And it's more of a couple lines. So I said, she created this need that I never used to have. It's like when you start to bleed after you rip off a scab. You thought it was a good idea, it ends up hurting you after, and you do it over and over and over. Because that's how it is, man. <laughs> that is the realest thing I've said ever, probably. It's been over eight months since I felt at home. At this point, I've accepted that I'll be alone. So I have this song, No Kidding, that's gonna be on the way. And. I have this album that I've been making for a long time now and it's, it's very personal, it's not like anything I've ever released before. A lot of the songs are about my ex, heartbreak, etc. Um, very personal stuff and I think it's almost done now so that should be expected within months. My message to my fans is to be consistent, to not take criticism too seriously, but sometimes listen if it's constructive criticism, but at the end of the day, people are going to hate and that's just part of being a creative person. You're going to get hatred because you're out of the box. You're doing something that other people can't do. So, yeah.